What's the crack lads? We are back with another video. Now listen, I nearly forgot about this, so I hope you guys haven't. You need to prepare for the free reset gonna be bye-bye because we have, as of right now, only got a couple of hours left before you'll be able to reset your players for free. Um, that is changing. So way back when, about maybe two months ago, they did talk about this free period of progression points reset, right? And originally it was meant to stop on the 28th of September, then it was pushed back to the 30th of November, which is tomorrow. So there has been no update since then. So as of right now, we will not be able to retrain, reset, redo the training for the players as much as we possibly want for free. It's going to cost GP, right? So there's been nothing on this in V3.2. Whether they will extend it or not will be seen tomorrow, right? In a couple of hours time, okay? When the servers are updated. But as of right now, in part one and part two of V3.2, there's been no mention of this. Now, maybe they're going to extend it out to go in line with the next big update, which would make sense. But the fact that they're making GP be able to do contract renewals as well, I think that this will probably come in, right? And this is what it is, right? So any of the players that you have here, you can retrain right now because it's free. And for the last year or two years, when they or the last year when they brought this into eFootball, um, you were able to retrain your players, right? So say, for example, I want to make Patrick Vieira, I want to make him a really, really, really attacking-based central midfielder, right? We can just test him out, go into player progression, we can go to reset player progression, and it's going to actually allow us to do that for free. Everybody that knows this, if you're a newcomer, you might not, but, you know, 99% of people are going to know how to do this, and it is going to be free, right? So you can see here that it's 600,000, and that's what it's going to be until the 30th of um november which is tomorrow that's what it's going to be after that date i should say so it's free it's going to cost me zero so i can retrain Vieira, and i can make him you know as fast as i possibly can i can put it with 98 uh, acceleration if i want to do that and i can obviously just train that up there as we see here and then i can go in and i can test my 98 rated uh, acceleration version of Vieira, right and just do a couple of funny clips with him or whatever if he's a speedster and i can keep resetting and resetting and resetting and that goes for every player every single player that you see here i can reset no matter how many times you've trained them if you've trained them fully um, you can just test out different versions, right? That is going to change. So for the likes of the, the really, really big, high-rated players like Messi, right? If you go into player progression, you go to reset, that's going to cost you 600,000 GP, right? Now, if you, if you train a player wrong, right? This is going to make training guides very, very, very important. Before, if you got a training guide wrong, not only if you, after, are you after wasting a lot of XP, but now it's actually going to cost you GP. So my advice to everybody to keep this video short and sweet, as I'm doing here in real time, is I would definitely advise, right? And this is the best advice that I can give you. I would reset every player's progression and store the XP if you're not going to be planning on playing it until tomorrow, right? See how the game is playing in a couple of matches. Um, I'll be testing everything out on live stream. I'll be retraining my players if they don't extend it, it's going to be massively important because if you might have, like you might think to yourself there, I've got 10 million GP, I'm sorted. But trust me, within a couple of months, that's going to be slowly eroded and eaten away because you will have GP and contracts that will uh, be eaten that into that. Or sorry, player progression, retraining. So what happens if like you have a player that's got like 80 pass and then Konami come out and say like, oh, we've made a really good adjustment that if you've got 90 plus passing uh, as a stat, you know, your player's going to be able to hit this or hit this or have different different animations. Then you're going to want to retrain your creative players or your whole players, your attacking midfielders, your central midfielders to have, you know, be the main passers. Because at the moment, there's no real difference or discernible difference between 80 passing and 86 passing, 87 passing. When you go up to the 90s, yes, there's a couple of animations that are linked to player skills and body type and how they move and their player ID. But for this, this is all I'm going to do, lads. I'm going to reset most of my players here, okay? So any player that I plan on having that are going to cost about, you know, over 100,000 GP to reset, I'm literally just going to reset them and then see where the gameplay is at over the next week or so and then retrain the player so that I know that I'm retraining the player exactly for the V3.2 gameplay or the next big update gameplay and also that I'm not wasting GP. Yes, it's easy to get GP, right? But it's easy to get GP to a certain degree. I mean, if you retrain 10 players, that's 6 million if you've got players that are costing 600,000. 
Now, one thing I've seen is that it might actually cost GP. They mightn't extend that out, but they might reduce the cost of how much it costs. So you can see Messi there is going to be 600,000. Maybe they'll keep it at that. Maybe they'll extend it out. Who knows? But trust me, you do want to kind of prepare yourself. If you can get on after watching this video, you can do it along here with me. I'm literally just going to reset every single player that I have here that I'm going to be using in my squad, right? So say for the likes of this Messi, I'm just going to reset him, right? Everything is going to stay the same. And when the time comes, when I'm comfortable with what build I want to put into the player, I'll just go back into him and I'll retrain him exactly how I want to train him. So that is just a really short video, lads. My advice is reset all your players, at least your top 50 players in your club, and then sit on the progression points for maybe a couple of hours and see where the gameplay is at. See what's actually been improved. If they are going to be improving the gameplay, which we assume is going to be around December time, they've said it, that it's going to be an update coming in early December. That is official. Um, I definitely think that'll be when you re retrain your players, right? If you are retraining your players, it's going to cost you, you know, 2 million to retrain your key players. That's a lot of GP that you could be using elsewhere, right? So let me know what you guys think. It's just a little bit of a, of, of a quick heads up for you guys. Um, I'm going to even retrain players that like I probably won't really use, um, such as Neymar here. I already have him reset. Any of these players that you're seeing here with the little orange icon beside them, that'll be the trainer XP that they have or the trainer points, progression points that they have. So I'm essentially just going to work my way through this and eventually have all my players reset that when the update actually does come out, we will be able to just test things, retrain the players. If you guys like that, um, you know, keep it locked to me, like and subscribe to the channel, turn notifications on. Uh, I, I, I do try to really test the player guides, the training guides, and you know, if you do struggle with building players up, um, and you're one of these guys that auto allocates, I definitely recommend to see a couple of the training builds that I'm going to be doing because I put hours of research into the training methods, playing against AI, playing online, playing against pro players, play, playing against different guys that have different abilities, different play styles. Um, but yeah, that's what we're going to essentially do, lads. So that is it for me. Do not forget to subscribe. Do not forget to like and share this video. And uh, yeah, happy resetting of your players for free. I mean, we have to do it, lads, because it's going to cost a ton otherwise so that is it for me lads let me know if you'd forgotten about this let me know if you'd like to see them extended as well i mean this video could be null and void if they do extend it and say listen we're going to let people have the free reset but i think the way that they've been shaping the gameplay is that they're going to really make these boosters and the way you train your players they're going to make that very important i think going forward that's just my opinion i think that the next big update is going to really make it that you you will want to have your your team trained in the right positions, in the right area for what you want them to do on the pitch, right? And also, if you do have a player out of contract, you won't be able to reset their player progression if you do not have a contract in. So that's going to be something that else that they catch you with. If you've got a lot of players that you've been sitting on that you haven't been training, um, you won't be able to reset the player as you see here me do with uh, Cristiano, who's one of my favorite club pack cards in the game. Um, just be sure, make sure of that, right? That you don't uh, fall for that trap, okay? But anyway, that's, that is it for me. I'll be talking a bit. Peace.